here in Toronto, Canada, everything was closed for mm -hmm. almost like six months. Since I was laid off, I'm like, okay, you know what? Maybe I can restart my kicks again. And um, she was home with me this whole time. She saw what I was doing and she's like, mommy, I want to try to. So I'll give her my leftover fondant and some kick tools. She would sit there for like two hours and she would enjoy it. It kept her busy. Her fine motor skills are really good and she's very artistic. So I started teaching her the very basics of kick decorating. She picks up on everything I teach her. It was my husband's birthday and I asked her, you want to make a kick for daddy? She's like, okay. She was really excited and then I recorded her and then I posted on TikTok. I guess it blew up. Everyone's like, oh my God, a three-year-old can make a cake on her own. So the fun part is to eat the sprinkle. From the very beginning to the very end, I let her do all of it. So like, I guess eating was a part of it. So she gets yeah. to know you know the flavor, the density, like she gets to experience everything. Honestly, like it saved me from this pandemic and then losing my job was like a big part of my identity. So I was just really bored and a bit of grieving at home. Making fun videos together, it was like super, super therapeutic for us, like both me and her. I don't know, everything with cakes just, it had to relate to my daughter somehow. Like it was my older daughter who made me start making cakes and learn how to make cakes and I got income out of it. And it was my second daughter who made my cakes into content creating, kind of modernized it. Like Alice totally, she pivoted that whole thing for me. I don't know, it's just kind of crazy how both my kids just kind of made this kick into my life. <laughs> I never thought I would be a baker at all. <laughs>